everybody and welcome to our Timeshare's Kitchen. Which, word of advice, if you ever get offered a timeshare, don't buy it. Okay, so we are up here in Palm Springs and eh, we went to the zoo today and I fed a giraffe. Yay! There's a great zoo out here called the Living Desert. But you're not here for that. You are here to see me try crazy stuff. And we went to the 99 cent store, which I almost bought a can of beer because beer from the 99 cent store and they also had uh, wine and sparkling wine is what you, you know, you can't call anything that's not from the Champagne region of France Champagne. But I decided, no, I don't feel like spending $8.99 on a bottle of cheap wine. Instead, I bought alkaline water. I don't know if you have heard about this, but this is the new pseudoscience health scam. Claiming that this will up your pH or some nonsense like that. Um, sometimes you can get it with charcoal in it as well as alkaline, which, okay, maybe it might help an upset stomach, but if you take any heart medication, antidepressants, antipsychotics, anything like that, the charcoal is going to wash the medicine out of your system. And as far as this is concerned, as far as this is concerned, uh, my father, who just left, a PhD chemist, has said, this is ridiculous because your stomach acid is going to neutralize any of the alkaline in it. If you don't believe me, and you don't believe my PhD chemist father, well, I suggest going to Miles Power here on YouTube and asking him, because I'm sure he will say the same thing. He is also a chemist, and he would give you a better description of why this is pseudoscience than I could. So, and if you do go see him because of me, please tell him I sent you. So, but, 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 wait, there's more. No, we're not, not just, we're not just going to drink a little bit of alkaline water, which is a complete pseudoscience nonsense thing that you should not do anyway. No. I also bought tea that's made out of um, cow cow husk, basically uh, cocoa, uh, that is supposed to give you energy. And we will, after we drink some of the water plain, we're going to make tea with it. Okay? And here we go. Because some people are anxious to turn on the TV. And so I need to get this video done. So, oh, I love it. pH is the measure of acidity and alkalinity. The higher the pH, the greater the alkalinity. Our alkaline water is, and plus electrolytes, is ionized to pH 9.5. But, no matter what they tell you, there is no true health benefits to this. This is all pseudoscience garbage. Um, you, you know, it's right up there with essential oils and all that crap. The only thing essential oils are good for is covering the smell of poop in your bathroom. And, the, and the, those of you who are putting essential oils in your food, instead of real herbs, spices, extracts, stop it. You're going to kill someone. Of course, it's water. It has no smell. And it has a very funky taste. Ooh. Ooh. It's actually making my tongue tingle. I'm sorry, it, it is gross. It's, it's not only pseudoscience nonsense, it's gross water. It, yeah. Ugh. Gross, 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 gross. I can't, hey, I'm doing this so you don't have to. God help me if I ever get my hands on the um, charcoal infused alkaline water. Oh my god, that's probably so disgusting. So, Energy Bruce Wellness Tea can be 
the pick-me-up you need, whether it's in the morning or afternoon, the sweet aroma and rich taste helps invigorate your day. You know, and it only has the one ingredient in it, which basically it's the husk of chocolate. And it, it kind of smells smells a little chocolatey, right? I wasn't kidding. I'm going to make it with the nasty, nasty alkaline water. I'm doing this just to entertain you folks. Oh, and, and I'm about to make my um, English ancestors cry. Because we're microwaving it. Hey, Dad, does microwaving do anything to alkaline? Good. Shouldn't, he says. Yeah, he's, he told me the, stu the acids in your stomach will neutralize the alkaline, so there's no health benefits to it whatsoever, because your body naturally neutralizes it anyway. So it's a good thing I bought this at the 99 cent store, because I have seen people being charged way, way, way too much for nasty water, bad water. You're bad, bad. You taste bad, and you should feel bad about that. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. By the way, Miles, if you watch this, or Jeff Holiday, if you watch this, you too are perfectly welcome to use clips of this in your own videos. All right? You're also welcome to use my TikToks in your videos. All right? You know, because for those of you who don't know, um, I do cosplay over on TikTok, and one of my original characters, OC for short, is Karen. Smells like chocolate. It's very, very weak so far. Dunk, dunk, bunk, bunk, bunk. I need to hurry up and do this video so people can watch TV. We'll see what, why, what does alkaline water do to tea? Especially tea that is just cacao. I don't even know if that's the correct way to pronounce it. C-A-C-A-O. Husk. I'm sure it would taste fine if you used good water, not bad water. You are bad water. Bad. Bad water. So, okay, one last thing, just because, you know, you're not just here to see me shame water. Bad water. No. I bought Belgian chocolate at the 99 cent store. Yes. You can get, this is actually, actually says on here, product of Belgium, and it is dark chocolate mint. So I need something to get the taste of bad water. And mom's motioning to me, did what, did I spill something on Bob Ross? You can tell, say, I fed a giraffe. Well, no, I already showed him the sticker, okay. mom. She's telling me to tell you guys I fed a giraffe. I fed a giraffe, and I fed a camel. And I saw I got to hang out with butterflies, and I had a goat pose for me, and I should have taken my video camera, but I took just my regular still camera. Because I could have I could have started the video out with me feeding a giraffe. But no, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even know I was gonna be making a video for YouTube today. Ooh, chocolate. Will, will the 99 cent store chocolate make up for the bad, bad water? Shame on you.
Yes, folks, yes, it does. It's, you know, it's dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. It's mint. I love mint. And you probably can't see in here because I don't have the greatest quality of camera. But what it is is there's actually little crispy bits of mint in here. So it's not like it's mint-infused chocolate. It's like they made, like, peppermint bark or something and crushed it up or, or breath mints. You know, like, like if they crushed little crystallized mint in here. Mm-hmm. Okay, folks. Well, who wants to see me dump 99 cents down the drain? Because guess what's right here? The kitchen sink. My mom is nodding at me. Bye-bye, pseudoscience. Bye-bye, bad water. You taste bad and you should feel bad for existing. Be gone with me so I can recycle the bottle. Do not, do not, do not fall for this scam, folks. Alkaline water doesn't do squat for your health. You can't like up the pH of your body or whatever the heck the claims are. It's pseudoscience nonsense. It's right up there with claiming that essential oils can cure cancer. And veganism can cure homosexuality. Yes, that is actually a claim uh, that I have seen the anti-vaxxers on Facebook make. They claim that vaccines cause homosexuality and transgenderism. And that you can cure it by eating vegan and become straight or side gender by eating vegan. And the and day I told my dad that, the first words out of his mouth is, well, those anti-vaxxers have not read the Bible. So there you have it, folks. It's pseudoscience, and it tastes bad, and it makes tea taste bad, but at least the chocolate tasted good.